There is no denying that the current British Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Boris Johnson MP, has had a very tough week behind me here in the House of Commons. But now does he have a plan to bounce back and, more importantly, win back the favour of those so many who voted in him in 2019? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London Parliament today. Hope as ever you're keeping well. Lovely to see you. Thank you for joining me. Welcome one and all brand new subscribers, even more. So I hope you're enjoying the show so far. Do let me know what you think to some of the stories and the topics as ever in the comments below. We do see them all, the good and the bad. Must point out also that if you're rude about anybody, we don't allow swearing, we don't allow negativity, you know. There's no reason to be rude about anyone. You may not agree with certain politics, stories, uh, you know, breaking news, whatever, but please, no bad language. We will simply remove you, and if you continue, we simply block you. It's as simple as that. But back as ever to your breaking political story of the day. There's no denying that the Right Honourable Boris Johnson has had a pretty bad week. And it's all related, of course, to those Downing Street parties, allegedly. Uh, where they work, where they non-work, cheese and wine, bring a bottle, you name it. Yes, it's a serious offence, there's no two ways about that. But I do think the majority of the British public right now have bigger things to think about. That's only because, you know, things are escalating at a daily rate. You know, we've got unemployment, we have people struggling with mental health issues, and more importantly, people losing jobs. As I say, day after day, it's not an easy time, not just here in the United Kingdom, but I'm sure around the world too. But Boris Johnson did give his heartfelt apologies to a very packed House of Commons. I was there, very moving, should I say. It's interesting to note, though, when you sat in a venue like that, you know, how the vultures do circle around you. And uh, as we've told you here many times on the show before, the mainstream media already make up their mind. They were hoping on that particular day that Boris would resign, and that concludes their story. As we saw also further in the day, there was a breaking news story about Prince Andrew, the beleaguered royal. So guess what? They ditched Boris and jumped onto Prince Andrew and brought out all the negativity on him. So you see how it works. But back to Boris. He may just have something in his arsenal that could possibly save him and put him back on board with the many voters who still want to support him. And more importantly, it's a topic that really resonates with the British public. Let me explain. The BBC have taken recently to sending out very threatening letters to the over 75s about non-payment of their TV licence, even when many have either sadly passed away, yes, or indeed have written back stating that they don't watch television anymore and they've got rid of it. They carry on. The letters go even deeper by basically stating that they're under investigation, they will be receiving a visit from an enforcement officer. Really? And um, of course, if that doesn't work, then there's also the threat of a thousand pound fine and of course, in your community, the embarrassment. I think the BBC model, as we've often said here on the show, is debatable moving forward in 2022. Really, people should have a choice if they wish to pay for certain programming. But the BBC are enforcing this because they have such a high wage bill and more importantly, 22,000 plus employees to pay for across the board. But Boris now is re-looking at scrapping the licence fee. As you know, it was scrapped before and now it looks set to be scrapped again. I truly believe that this is the way forward for Boris to win back some of those beleaguered voters. They are his greatest supporters. But more importantly, this is an additional expense that they didn't plan for in those later years. After all, it was promised as it's going to be free now, you're over 75. Once again, something was offered. Once again, it was snatched back. Could this be finally the saving grace for Boris Johnson to remain in number 10 Downing Street? As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of Westminster.